first 10 minutes now, the first 10 minutes of today was kind of the same, but what did it change for you? Um, I'd probably say just sitting on the bench and, you know, kind of analyzing the game once I came out and then going back in realizing that I just need to slow myself down a little bit and, you know, just kind of analyze the whole court. In terms of, like, settling, not shooting the ball, but wanting to attack, you think you got a little more comfortable in the second half of seeing what's out there to make it a quick decision? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, but when I'm attacking, it's just knowing that how, how to protect the ball and, you know, where my guys are going to be at to create opportunities for them. You expected this to have a better showing, didn't you? Yes, yes. Um, you know, it's, it's just taking something from every game and, you know, translating it to the next. Just I'm just trying to learn as much as I can. What's your mindset on catching those? It's like when to go and to um, well, I should be ready to catch and shoot a lot more. That's something I got to work on. But also, just as quick as I am, I feel, you know, as soon as I catch it, I have the ability to rip by somebody. But it's also just reading the closeouts, too. How do you how do you feel like you're coming along in terms of where you are compared to your own expectations? I thought I played a lot better today than I did yesterday. Um, also, we won, so that that's a big, a big upside. But... Like I said, I'm just trying to, you know, take something from, you know, the previous game and, you know, implement it into my skill base and carry it on to the next game. How are you feeling physically? You seem to be doing a pretty cool looking stretch there late in the third quarter. Are you are you sore? Or are you no, that's just to, that's just to keep my hips and my lower body warm. Uh, you know, s sitting on the bench and trying to come back in after you've been playing. I want to make sure that I'm, I'm up to speed with the rest of the guys on the court and I'm not, you know, stiff. Uh, probably, probably being comfortable and you know slowing myself down to the to the pace of pace of the NBA. Is that right? You you warmed up or you, you jacked up? Or? Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's only, it was only my second game of playing against the NBA competition, so I'm still trying to figure it out. What's the best piece of advice you've gotten so far from other people on the team? Be aggressive. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I took a, I took a few shots today. A few of them went in, a few of them didn't. Um, but to, my coach actually before the game was telling me to be more selfish than I have been in past games. Is it easier said than done to kind of just worry about the process more, even if the results aren't necessarily coming immediately? Uh, I mean, that's what summer league is for. I think is just uh, you know to gain as much experience as I can and you know learn as much. Uh, however I play, whether it's good or bad. I don't really let it affect me uh, carrying on into the NBA season. What's it like uh, going from uh, such structured basketball in the Big Ten in college to summer league where it's a little bit more free from? Yeah, uh, I, I probably enjoy this a little bit better. It just allows us to play with a lot more freedom. And, um, you know, with, with the actions that we have and the defenses, you kind of got a feel of where guys are going to be at a lot. Is Wisconsin style of play kind of just – how different is that compared to what you're going through now and what you're going to continue to have to adjust to in the NBA? Um, Wisconsin was a lot of get the ball in the post to, to our big mans or our, our bigger guards. So uh, playing out here, it's more of just ball screens, uh, a lot of a lot of just actions. You know what I mean? Regular NBA actions. So um, I, I definitely enjoy this a lot more. I'm really proud. Of I know they're proud of me being here and and taking advantage of this and letting uh, the world know that Columbia got talent. Obviously, you guys had a lot of success just now. What do you attribute that to? I mean, uh, we play at home. Barranquilla is an amazing, uh, it's the house of the national team, not only for soccer, but also for basketball too. A great atmosphere. Uh, and then we have the talent and the desire to, to qualify to the World Cup. So uh, obviously the right situation would come for me to play in there. So hopefully hey, that can come soon. I think the most of thing is, is about understanding a role. For us young guys, sometimes we have, you, we make mistakes about, uh, we want to do a little bit of everything. And we basically have to do one or two good things to contribute a team. That's what they need it for. So we don't need to go crazy or uh, trying to score everything. Just being patient and understanding what is your role. So I think that's the main thing. What's the hardest thing been in summer league so far? Uh, Depends on who you ask. That. I mean, it's my second year here, so me, I have a lot of more patience. But for the new guys, I think it's understanding. Uh, not many guys will have like playing time or the playing time that they, you know, they come here. You have to adjust that. You have like assignment players that come here. You have two-way players and you have Julie guys. 
that actually have the aspiration to grow everybody. So everybody is like anxious, and you have to uh, calm down those feelings. Otherwise, you're gonna get in your head, and that's that's the worst thing. Like I just enjoy the moment. Uh, take advantage of this huge platform. So and enjoy it. This is not everybody have the privilege to be here. You you obviously understand the G League grind. How do you stay mentally fit dealing with all this and not knowing what's gonna happen next? You know what, it does, I contribute that uh, believing in God and believing in karma, that if you do the right things and you work hard every day, everything's gonna come on your way and you don't have to worry about it. At some point, control what you can control. And sometimes we tend to think that if we are scoring 30 points at night, it would be like the, the or pass to the NBA. And that's not really, uh, we have to fill up the spots. And I know God works in sometimes crazy ways for us and it's hit really hard to understand sometimes. But uh, if you do the right things, things are going to come over your way. Thank you. I mean, Coach talked about how you wanted to have a bigger role and your voice in the team. I guess where did that desire come from? I mean, I think the base of the of the uh, of the defense and the defense here obviously is the firemen have a lot of responsibility. So me communicating and telling everybody what to do is like a huge part to keep everything coordinated and everything working in the same line. If I if I don't communicate and everything comes ahead, the responsibility comes on me. So, uh, but nothing. Being the voice, being the leader, trying to speak out my knowledge that I have so far to the new guys and to keep them down and obviously try to get the best performance out of everybody, not only for me. Uh, that's, that's my main goal. Obviously you had last year some really experience, but also then go, go, be with the Wizards all the time, be the call up. How would that help you? I feel like uh, my call up, for me, I always take it like as a little entry. For me, it was the beginning of something uh, at the beginning of something better and I'm thinking like I, I had the peace now I know I belong that there sorry and then uh, it's been like that it's been a huge grind this summer uh, not taking days off not cutting corners taking time and and, and enjoying this moment Has any of your families been able to watch any of these games? Man, every, oh, I think all Colombia is tuned up right now uh, watching my performance uh, trying to get a piece of me every time, but uh, things are gonna come in the right way and hopefully I will thank them for cheering for me. And because they, this is not only my dream, like I said, this is the dream of 50 million of Colombians.